my life. You know, doing it, doing well, videos. not doing the videos, no, but doing the YouTube, I guess we've had for 12 years, but okay. it literally started with me going around, like customers said, I'm in New York and I'd like to buy that truck. Can you can you show it to me? And I'm like, well, I can send you 100 pictures, but I'm gonna walk around. Yep. You know, how big is it? I'm like, well, I'm 5'10", let me walk around and show you the height, you know? Right. They were all silent videos, but they grew traction. They grew traction, a few of them went viral, and it just sat there. And then as I changed staff, they'd start with it, and then they'd give up, because nobody wants to be behind the camera. Nobody wants to talk about a vehicle, right. you know? And then if they talked about something and said something wrong, then I jumped their ass, so yeah. it was like, just walk around the car, you know, just walk around the car. Mm -hmm. And then as we got busier, that didn't even happen. So it just sat idle. We've always been good with our pictures, but the videos slacked. And uh, so I did, just before COVID, we had an actual, it was going to TV, it was a reality TV show about boats. Really? So we were going to Miami, we were going to Texas, we were going to everywhere, taking fancy I boats. boats. Yeah, so that was our thing, you know, mostly speed boats, mm -hmm. big center consoles, but the manufacturers were using it like a commercial while we used it, but we were going out and hitting the event, so it was twofold. You Got know, it. it was kind of a, kind of a commercial, kind of a uh, advertising, but kind of like a lifestyle of a boater. And it was good. We had pretty girls and the bikinis right. and the whole nine yards. Yep. Mixed it all together tastefully, and it was getting ready to go to network. It was between Discovery, um, Velocity, and uh, it was one other. And COVID hit, and it just, it just shut everything down. Messed everything um, up. And we had a ton of footage. Like for that though, because I can usually run through it, and I don't have no mistakes. We my two partners that were in on it. They would just, <laughs> and, and we had to retake and retake and redo. And then if you didn't capture it, you were gone. Right. Like, you know, if you didn't capture the start of the poker run, it doesn't happen again. You got right. one and done. Yep. So, you know, the drone was falling out of the sky. The drone's battery was dead. You know, everything was always a problem. But we captured like 10 hours for about a 10 minute clip. Right. It was crazy how condensed it had to be. Yeah. And I, I remember said, you saying that. It's it, not simple. It's not. But and it was a whole deal. Like, it was him, another guy drone guy huh? a telephone guy right. and you just hope with four guys you captured enough because right. if you didn't it was over and, right. uh, you know then I was like you know what we got static stuff here and that's what we started doing with the boat stuff because you couldn't go anywhere there were no events yep. so we'd go tour factories you had to wear your mask and it was yep. dumb Back it was then. the worst content you could have yeah. and it didn't go anywhere so uh, I said you know what and that YouTube channel is still there and we need to do more with it but I said, I'm gonna start getting back on ours. You know, we're here every day doing well, if it's it. But anything like um, you do this stuff, it's it's this well, is done right. The, it's done nice. The beautiful, it made me buy one. You know well, what I mean? Yeah. And the beautiful part about it is, I, I got to do it anyway. Like you know, if the guy wants to buy the 3500, he wants to feel like he's here, but he's probably not. Like he right. might be in Texas sure. or Florida or California, and if he can walk around it and it saves him a flight, what is he gonna do? He's gonna walk around it just like I walk That's around right. it. So I'm like, let me do it. Oh, the emblem's got a chip. It's got rock chips. You know, here it right. is. That's the same thing your eyes are gonna see. Yep. Saves him a thousand dollars in time and taking off work, and he's just like, dude, I'll take it. You know, so that's, that's it. So it's it's really helped a lot. Still, you know, we got 300, 400 vehicles, and only half of them have ever been videoed. But we capture the ones we got to, and, and that stuff has been crazy. And that's yeah. I'm sure that's what Daniel told you too. Oh, Ryan in the shop, you know, it, we've made, been doing this. He forever. made me feel better. <laughs> we've been doing this forever. Like I mean, it's just you know we were we were getting the trading post the day it came out on a monday morning seeing what's in the trading post to go buy but we were buying it for parts like we had just ripped the rear end out and instead of buying a junkyard rear end we'll buy a whole truck for a few hundred extra bucks and then we'll have the whole truck left but we use the rear you know and, gotcha. and, and then we just had bone yards and then we we're like well that one we took apart was really good <laughs> like we need to put that one back together and that's that's how it started and we ran through the arsenal real quick you know of, of personal stuff but uh, it's still awesome to awesome. Stuff like, and like that. i said again i'm happy to be here and yeah, no no that's no, awesome. the main part of family yeah, for sure talk to it soon. Um, you know it's and we want to be kind of a destination for people, you know. It's cool. I mean, it's definitely, uh, we could have, if it wasn't so screwed up with this transport, transport I, I would have loved yeah. to not be so stressed yeah, looking around, but I you know it. what I mean. Well, and people's time is valuable these days, too, and that's why, yeah. you know, on the sales side, if they don't have to do anything but just have their truck show up at home, they're happy, yeah. you know. And sure. we hate that because they don't ever get to come see the other side of what happens to them, you know, my uncles, you know, family, it's, it's really all family. And, that facility came available across the road just by dumb luck. And, you know, oh, that we, wasn't your buildings? They've but been here they, since 90, across the street since, uh, no, here since 2000, across out. since 90, and in my grandparents' yard is where it started, and we still have that. Um, 
but that came available. We've been talking with the guy for years and years and years, and he got old and wasn't using it. So we started renting a little bit, and then we started renting a little bit more, and I hate renting. And finally, one day we got with the family, like, look, we would like to buy this. And they're like, it's tax-wise and stuff's not the right time. I'm like, well, look, let's put it on contract. We're going to buy it. Then COVID hit. Everything went to crap. And I was yep. like, geez, what are we going to do? And, and we worked through it. And then finally, Good. once they finally moved out, because it was an old guy, he just wanted to give up. He was like, I want my stuff. And, you know, yeah. the building was full of junk, and he was a construction guy, so there was trucks and stuff. So we finally got all their stuff moved and got the deal done and got it purchased and then started doing it because it was just too big raw warehouses. That's very it's, cool. Very yeah, cool. Lots to of, be like right, you said, a lot to look at. To it's be like, across the street was phenomenal. It's like awesome. it's, it's still hard to run and back and forth and all that, but you know now we got it covered both ways and we'd already outgrown that. So it worked out great. Good deal. Yeah, man. We all hang around, do your thing. Thanks, uh, JW. We'll see we'll you get soon. Some stuff knocked out. Good. Tim, I don't even know what to tell you to do, buddy. Um. <laughs>